Hey, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create JSF HTML forms. So we'll start this section off just by having a review of regular HTML forms. We'll discuss the idea of JSF UE components. We'll take a look at the JSF page structure, how to create forms with JSF, and then some final technical details on JSF form UE components. All right. We have a lot of good things in store. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so just a quick review of HTML forms. Basically, HTML forms are used to get input from the user. And we've all used HTML forms before, right? If you've logged into your favorite social media application like Facebook or Twitter, there's always a sign in page, right? There's a form and your email address and your password. Or if you travel, you've gone to a number of different airline websites or travel websites, and you've entered the city that you're flying from, where you're flying to, and the dates. So this is very basic. Um, HTML forms have been around for a long time, and we can also make use of this technology with JSF UE components. All right, so as I mentioned, JSF has components that'll generate the HTML for you. So if you're building an HTML form, you can make use of some of the JSF UE components. So here, if I'm building a form, I'll say H colon form. That's the main form container. Once you have a form container set up, then you can add multiple entries in that form. So you could add maybe an input text, which is a normal text field, or you can add in a text area, which is a multi-line text field. You can also make use of checkboxes, radio buttons, and drop down list. Don't worry, I'll actually cover each one of these UE components in a following video. So I'll show you all the gory details and we'll do a deep dive on each one just so you can see how it works. But at least here, I wanted to give you an overview of some of the components uh, that are available. When you create a JSF page, the most common configuration is to make use of the .xhtml file extension. That's what you kind of get out of the box when you do a basic installation of JSF. Now, you could also configure this to make use of different uh, file extensions, uh, but right now I'll just go ahead and keep it simple and I'll just make use of the uh, default, the .xhtml. Now, your JSF page, uh, the structure of the page, it's really just a normal HTML page with some special JSF tags mixed in. So here on the slide, we have HTML, then we have regular HTML, then JSF tags, and then some more HTML. So you can make use of any additional technologies that you'd like. So if you wanted to add in some cascading style sheet support to style your elements using CSS, you're, you're free to do that. If you wanted to maybe add some support for JavaScript using like jQuery or some other fancy JavaScript framework, you're also free to do that. So when you make use of a JSF page, you're not limited to using only JSF tags. You can easily sprinkle in other CSS or JavaScript functionality if you'd like. All right, so let's go ahead and move into Eclipse. And what I'm going to do is create a form from scratch. So I'm going to use the exact same project that I used in the Hello World uh, video earlier. And I'm just going to add a new file called simple.xhtml. And I'll drop in this HTML begin and end. And then on line four, I'm going to give a reference here to the JSF UE components. So I use the XML namespace colon H and I give this reference. I'll talk more about this reference here uh, a little bit later. Here we're simply referencing a unique URI uh, for the application. Now here I have a, a head section. Um, here I can put in my title, but note here the head section has H colon head. Again, we're using a JSF component here. And then I'll drop in the actual body section. So again, I'll make use of the H colon body. I'm making use of the JSF UE components. So some of the components are visible, some of them are invisible, but again, JSF will handle rendering the appropriate HTML for you. So now let's go ahead and move down and just set up an actual form. Note here how Eclipse will handle uh, code completion for you when you say H colon form. They'll give you a list of different options. So this is our basic form we have right now. It's our basic container. Now remember, we need to add in form elements within a given form. 
So what I'd like to do is create a very simple form that has um, a student's first name and last name and a submit button. So I'll start off with first name and then I'll make use of this H colon input text. So again, I'm making use of a JSF UE component for handling this uh, input. So this will give me a text field where the user can type in some information. I set up the ID for this field to be first name and here I say value pound curly brace first name. That simply sets a uh, request attribute that we can use later on uh, in the application. But don't worry about that portion of it for now. So we have our first name set up. Let's do a similar thing here for last name. Again, I'm making use of the H colon input text, that JSF component. I give an actual ID of last name and then a value I reference the curly brace, the pound curly brace uh, last name, mainly for the binding. All right. Then moving forward, I go ahead and put in a reference here for the submit button. So in the JSF world, they call it a command button. So H colon command button, and you give the value and value equals submit. And that's what you'll actually see on the actual submit button. And that's basically our JSF form by making use of those JSF UE component tags. And so now what I'd like to do is actually run the application. So I'll just right click on simple XHTML and I'll say run as run on server. It's going to start up my local Tomcat server and process the page. And so here's my form. So very good. So note here, simple X, um, hello slash faces slash simple XHTML. I'm just going to copy this URL and I'm going to drop it into a real web browser uh, so we can take a look at it. So this is our form in a browser. And uh, it looks great. So our first name and last name on the submit button. Right now it doesn't do much because we haven't put any real functionality behind it. But the key for this video is simply laying out the form and making use of the appropriate components. So this looks really good. Good job. All right. Now one thing to note here is that when I mentioned the uh, XML namespace and how we had to reference it, um, something has changed. So it, this is new in JSF 2.2. So if you look at some of the older uh, JSF tutorials out there on the net or the books, they'll have some outdated information. So new in JSF 2.2 is the actual namespace that you need to use for your applications. Now, the important thing to note here is that this is simply a unique namespace that's processed by the server. There's no requirement to have a real connection to the internet. Uh, for example, your JSF app's not gonna go connect to these URLs. This is simply just a unique identifier that's used by the actual server when they process uh, your page. So anyway, here's a list of the um, URIs, uh, the namespaces here for the core components, uh, HTML components, facelets, um, and composites. Uh, don't worry, we'll cover all this information later in the course, but I at least wanted to give you a list of those uh, since they're new in JSF 2.2. All right, so let's go ahead and summarize this video. So what we did is that we started out by reviewing HTML forms. Then we discussed the JSF UE components. We also looked at the JSF page structure, and then we started from scratch with creating a form with JSF. And finally, we discussed the idea of namespaces in the JSF UE components. All right, well, this wraps up the video. In this video, I showed you how to create JSF HTML forms. And this was mainly just a high level overview. In some of the following videos, I'm going to drill down and show you how to make use of data binding. We'll also walk through some of the various JSF UE components and see how they work. So don't worry, we have a lot of good things in store. I'll see you then.